Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Vanisha Alexander Marshall. Welcome. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome as well. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button at the bottom and make sure you're clicking the bell so when I'm uploading on YouTube, you are notified. We're we gonna get the camera right. We're we gonna get the camera right. We're gonna get it right. I think I got it right. I'm not sure. I don't know. We're gonna see. We don't know. Mm, don't know. Mm. So today, we are doing yet another makeup review. This is a first impression. Well, kind of sort of first impression. Some of this makeup I've already worn before. So I'm bringing it for you guys so you can see firsthand how the makeup wears and how it looks. If you hear a lot of noise going on, it is the 4th of July and I am recording a video on the 4th of July, y'all. I am. I'm recording a video on the 4th of July. I know. I asked them. Mm, I, I, yeah, I am. I am. So just ignore the noise. So if you hear anything, that's because it's 4th of July. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this makeup review. Um, most of this makeup, it is, we got a little drugstore, a little high end. We got a little bit of everything. Plus I'm excited because one is a small black owned business and I love supporting small black owned businesses. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this random makeup review. First we're going to start with primer. Primer is new to me. I've heard a lot of people talk about this primer. And it's kind of a mixed bag of thoughts from people. So I've worn the primer a couple of times. And I'm going to let y'all see for yourself. I'm going to make y'all be the judge of it. Okay? I'm going to let y'all be the judge of it. So the primer I am talking about, this is from Catrice. This is their Grip and Last Putty Primer. This is supposed to be similar to the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It's supposed to be similar to that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all see. I'm gonna let y'all see. First of all, here is what it looks like. This is the consistency of it. It is very, very similar to the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. The if you've been around uh, on my channel long enough, you know that is one of my favorite drugstore primers. Is the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. That primer is so good. I've traveled with that primer. I need I need to pick up another one because that's how good that primer is. And I'm talking about the original poreless putty primer, not the other ones that they have. So yeah, this is the consistency of it. And as you can tell, I have been using it. I'm going to let y'all be the judge of it. So I am going to put it on. It is of a thicker consistency. It is thicker than the poreless putty primer. And even when I try to take it off, it is pretty doggone thick. Um, so I'm going to let y'all be the judge of it. So I put the primer in my areas where I usually do, which is usually what I call my four corners. Um, four corners also you known as the T-zone area, usually where I put it. Um, I, um, I, I'm, I'm going to let y'all be the, I'm going to let y'all be the, I'm going to let y'all be the judge of it. Okay, I'm going to let y'all be the judge of it. So when I rub the primer in, okay, maybe I need to rub it a little harder. It is giving off a white cast. Some primers I use does have this white cast. It does. This is how it is looking. And it is coming off Snow White. Which is kind of making me a little worried. That's what I kind of should be. Because I am rubbing it in as hard as I can. The consistency is much thicker than the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It is much thicker. The price is not bad. It is a drugstore price. I'm trying to remember if it's about $8 or so. I don't remember. I'm trying to rub it in as best as I can. It is giving off a white cast and this ring light isn't making it any better. But this is what it looks like on my face. It looks like a white cast. And I'm looking through the viewfinder. Yeah. It is giving a serious, serious white cast. It really is. 
it's not really blendable like the poreless putty primer where when I use the poreless putty primer it blends in without any problems um, it works very well with a lot of the foundations that I really do like it works very very well this is just not jiving with it's, it's just not one of those kind of primers where it's easy to rub in it really really isn't it's just giving a cast now some primers can leave a cast and i can cover it up with foundation and concealer and so forth but yeah it's no no i i, I no i can't do it <laughs> foundation foundation is new to me it's been out for quite a while quite a long time i should say so i finally decided to pick it up heard some people say some good things about the primer and it's not a primer about the foundation this is not really a foundation this is a tenant moisturizer and i picked this up i want to say when i was in vegas i picked this up um so i decided to try it out see what it was all about because i've heard people talk about it and how good it was this is from laura mercier this is the laura mercier tenant moisturizer i believe this is the deep shade that i have this is also a trial size this is not the big size um the shade i have is walnut that is the shade that i have i don't know if you can see it see i've been trying to work with this camera and it's just not working for me it's just not working for me. We gonna get it right, y'all. We gonna get it. Right. We gonna get the camera right. We gonna get the camera right. We gonna get it right. But this is the foundation. The shade I have is Walnut. Um, I'm not sure if this is dealing with the primer, but when I put it on, as you can see, this is what it looks like. It's coming off a little orange. And I'm just placing it on my finger. This is how it's coming off. It's like that. It's not a bad tinted moisturizer. I think the products I have paired with it is probably what's making it not great for me. So here's what it looks like. It's not bad. It's really not bad. I don't think it's bad. I think it's the primer that's probably making me. Okay, it's coming off. Okay. Okay, so this is what the tenant moisturizer looks like. It's not bad. It's really not bad at all. I think it's possibly the primer that may be my problem. This is what it looks like. I'm looking through the viewfinder. It's not, it's not bad. I may not be giving this a fair shake. It is very, very glowy. This looks like medium coverage is what it's giving me. They say it's a tinted moisturizer. This is medium coverage. So what do y'all think? This is what it looks like. It's not bad. It's not a bad finish at all. Pretty glowy. Now when I wore this before, it wasn't too bad. It may have made me look a little casket sharp, but again, I think it was the primer that was making me this way but overall i'm not disappointed with the tinted moisturizer because when i tried this tinted moisturizer with another primer it worked out just fine um but this is a medium coverage um tinted moisturizer i will say this would this be a tinted moisturizer i would reach for i'm not sure um i would have to use it a little bit more see if this would be something that i would reach for a little while for a little more right now my favorite high end tinted moisturizer is the urban decay um uh, hydromatic um tinted moisturizer i really 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 love that tinted moisturizer 
when you want to talk a drugstore uh, tinted moisturizer, I like the e.l.f. Camel CC Cream. The e.l.f. Camel CC Cream, it is a really good, um, it's, it's really, really, really good. Now that CC cream, it is a full coverage CC cream from e.l.f. You just need a little bit and a little bit literally goes a long way. Um, but yeah, this is making my skin a little glowy, but it's not bad. It may have been the primer that was making me look a little casket sharp and I had taken a picture and I look, oh my God, I look bad. I look bad. But the, the tinted moisturizer, not a bad tinted moisturizer. It is a really good tinted moisturizer. For concealer, the concealer is new to me. It has been out for about a year, year and a half or so. So for tinted moisture, tinted moisturizer. For concealer, this is new. This is from Haley's Beauty. This is the Haley's Beauty Rewind Concealer. I've heard nothing but good things about the concealer. So I decided I was gonna try it out and see what it looks like, see how it wears. If you're not familiar, this is what it looks like. And yes, you can see I have been wearing it a few times. Um, it has the little um, metal applicator on here. So you kind of have to squeeze some of it out and then place it on and that's what I've been doing. I've been placing it on there. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, this does seem like a full concealer. This seems very blendable. I am going to put some of that concealer on my eyes for my eyeshadow base. I am so excited about the eyeshadow palette. Okay, that's probably what was my issue. Now I'm starting to see what my issue was. The concealer, maybe a little light. Maybe a shade light. As you can see, it's lightening me up, y'all. It's lightening me up. So this might be a shade too light. But you know what? With me, I'm going to make it work. Now I think that's what this is, the concealer. But that's all right. We're gonna make it work, y'all. We're gonna make it work. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. But that's why it's making me I look lighter. The concealer is a shade too light. It gave me too light. So I would need to use this concealer definitely with uh foundations that are a little too dark for me. But it's not like this is a bad concealer. It is not the other Haley's Beauty concealer. I really did like the concealer. Very blendable. It lasted all day, didn't crease or anything like that. I really did like the other uh, Haley's Beauty concealer. So this Rewind concealer, it is not a bad concealer. Just a little light. 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 And this is definitely full coverage. I will say this about the concealer. It is definitely full coverage, y'all. It's full coverage. My channel, I do set my face twice. One of the two setting powders, it is new to me. The second setting powder is not new. So I decided, I got this in my Ipsy because I wanted to see what it was all about because I heard some people say that this was a good setting powder. So this is the Kimchi Puff Puff Pass Loose Setting Powder. Here it is, the shade I have is um suntan so this is the um kimchi puff puff pads setting powder let's have a talk this may be way too late first of all this is what it looks like this is what it looks like it's a little pinkish and the shade i have is suntan yeah so i usually dip in it, but I like to take the excess off because I don't need. I, 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 don't, I bake. I, st I still. I'm still one of those people that still bake. So you can talk about me all you want. I still bake. Okay. So I take it, some of that off, and I just put it under my eyes. I think it was the setting powder that really was the downfall for my makeup look. Because I tried this setting powder with another foundation and a totally different concealer and I got the same result which was I was looking casket sharp so I'm about to take this off now usually when I bake 
I can tell if it's going to be a good setting powder or if it's not really a good setting powder. This, for me personally, this is something that is just not good for me. And now there are people that like it. This is just leaving me a bit too casket sharp. And this is not blendable. Even if you're one of those people that like to press your setting powder in, this seems like it just sits on the face. As you can see, like where I put it, you can see it. Anytime I usually bake, I can blend it out really, really easily. And it comes out just fine. I don't have any problems. But with this, on the other hand, yeah, I'm looking a little too casket sharp here. And this is not easy to blend. So that's why a lot of times... When a lot of people press their setting powders in, I don't like to press my setting powders in because I feel like my face is really, really, really cakey when it's pressed in. And I don't like that feeling when it's pressed in. That's why I bake and I sweep it off. Because to me, it feels a little lighter. And right now I'm looking casket sharp. I know, don't talk about me. I know I look casket sharp. You even got to talk about me. But this setting powder is sitting on top of everything. And usually, again, when I bake, I can sweep it off and I don't look this casket sharp. This is making me look casket sharp, which is probably why the tinted moisturizer was looking bad. And because the concealer I had was is a little too light, it's just making it worse. It's really, it's making it worse. So I went in with a second setting powder. Of course, you know, I go in with a medium deep, but this is not new. This is the minted setting powder in a medium deep. So I am going to put that on. Next is bronzer. Bronzer is new to me. And I'm bringing this brand to my channel for the first time. I've heard a lot of people talk about this brand. And I love the fact that this brand, it is a black-owned brand. And I have been wanting to try their products for a long time. I finally got my hands on something. Yay! <laughs> so for bronzer, um, this is the bronzer from the Lip Bar. So I finally picked up the Lip Bar. I think I did a vlog a while back when I picked this up. So I'm excited that I'm finally um, testing this out. Um, this is their bronzer. I have heard nothing but good things about their bronzer. This is what the bronzer looks like. I have heard nothing but good things about the bronzer. Um, so I thought this bronzer was going to look a little ashy on me. But I put the bronzer on and look at that. It really toned down a lot of the color, a lot of that casket sharpness I had going on. It really toned it down. Um, this bronzer did last a good while. I really like how it looks. Gave me that sun kiss look. I am the type of person with bronzer, if you're new to my channel. I don't use bronzer. I use bronzer for all over the face. Um... When I contour or chisel out my cheekbone to form my contour, I use something a little darker than this shade. Otherwise, I like a skin tone shade for my bronzer. I am going to do a little bit up here to try to combat that sharpness. It did tone down some of that casket sharpness. I don't know if you can see, it's toned it down a little bit. Um, but this bronzer, now I see what y'all was talking about with this bronzer. This bronzer is bomb. I mean, a lot of color didn't fade or anything like that. Why am I thinking it's a mirror? I don't know. But, <laughs> but I absolutely love this bronzer didn't make me look muddy. I was a little afraid it may look made me look muddy and then I thought again, well it might be a little light may make me look a little gray. But no, it was the perfect shade and I absolutely love this bronzer from the milk bar, from the lip bar. So now I see what y'all was talking about with the lip bar. Now I see what y'all was talking about. I love this bronzer. And I picked this up at Target. So it is available at Target. Um so yeah, Pick this up. You're really, really going to love that bronzer. Now I see what y'all are talking about. I can't wait to try out their blushes and, and everything else. I can't wait. Cannot wait. 
Next is blush. Blush is new to me. I am trying it out for the first time. Well, not first time, but this is a first impression. Again, I heard some people talk about it, so I wanted to see what it was all about. So this is from um, Beauty Blender. This is the Beauty Blender Cream Blush. So the shade I have is uh, Flirty Rose. That is the shade that I have is Flirty Rose. So... I picked up this cream blush because I saw some people talk about this cream blush. And this is what it looks like when I lift it up. I thought it wasn't going to go on my skin very, very well until I realized you have to really dig, like, dig into it. But you have to be careful. And I thought at first that the shade wasn't going to show up on my face. Yes, it did. It showed up. There it is. That's what it looks like. Give this little pink flush of color. I will say this. When I put this on, and I do top it with like a, um, I'll put like a powder blush on top or a bronzer to tone it down some. Because you're not going to get a whole lot, but if you go in a little too much, you can look like a clown. But it's a nice flush of color. Does it look like something I would pick up a whole lot? Probably not. But, I mean, it gives this nice flush of color. However, the, I think the only downside I have with this, it doesn't last. It does not last. Um, it will fade because I didn't notice that it faded on me. And then in this hot weather in the deep south, uh, yeah, I need my makeup to be lasting a long time because the, our humidity can get as high as 105, 110. Okay, because it's hot down here in Louisiana. It, it's just too hot. And I do test a lot of this makeup out, particularly if I'm going to be out in the high sun all day. And I'm, it, it didn't really last. It really didn't. Even when I topped it with powder, blush I, I just didn't see where it stayed on my face I didn't see where it stayed but I mean it is giving a flush of color may have wanted something a little deeper but it's not bad it just doesn't seem like anything that I would just up and oh my god I gotta have it it's just not one of those blushes for me um, but you do have to dig in it quite a bit to get some type of color payoff um, because that's also could be why when I put it on it didn't last because you do have to dig into it to get some type of color payoff. Next is eyeshadow. I'm so excited. So excited to bring you this eyeshadow palette. I have been following her on a good long time now. She is all over Instagram, all over TikTok. If you don't know about her brand, you are crazy. And what I love, this is a small black owned business and it is run by a black woman, a young black woman. And I just had to try one of her eyeshadow palettes out. I am talking about this eyeshadow palette. This is the In The Buff eyeshadow palette. It is by Beats by Deb Cosmetics. I have been wanting to try out her products for a long time. She has the other eyeshadow palette, but when I picked this eyeshadow palette up, the other palette was sold out, and this is like that rainbow eyeshadow palette. If you are familiar familiar with Beats by Depth Cosmetics, I wanted to try it out, but I was like, nah, it sold out. But this was available, and I love the pretty packaging. Um, and she, her brand is cruelty free, vegan, and paraben free. That's what I really, really like. It's very, very pretty packaging. But when you see the palette. If you're like me and you're a neutral girl and you love your neutral shades, this is going to be the palette for you. This is what the palette looks like. Look at all those neutrals. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. And it does come with a mirror. Um, I wanted to really, really try this palette out to see if it would be the payoff that she demonstrates on Instagram because she promotes her products a lot and I don't blame her okay so in my crease area let's see let's try something I hadn't tried okay 
In my crease area, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here in my crease. I'm gonna put that shade in my crease. What you think, y'all? Check that out. This is giving color. This is giving color. All right, so this is what the eyeshadows look like in my crease area. I love it. Absolutely love this palette. I love it. This is an awesome, awesome um, transition shade. I love, I love this. I absolutely love that color. Let's see, in my, on my lid, let's try, you know what, in the lid, I'm going to try this shade, I'm going to put this shade on my lid. Oh, 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 oh my God. God, the color. Y'all haven't picked this palette up. If y'all have not picked this palette up, oh my goodness. What are y'all waiting on? I love, I love this. I absolutely love this. I, I, I love the colors. These are pigmented eyeshadows. So super floor about this palette. I love this palette. If you have not picked up this palette, check her out. This palette, I believe, was $35.99, but it is worth the $35.99 because when I tell you these colors are so pigmented and buttery and they blend like a dream, oh my goodness, I love this palette. I really do love this palette. And what's even better, it, again, a small black-owned business. She is doing her thing. And when I tell you, these eyeshadows are absolutely popping. These eyeshadows are popping. A perfect neutral eyeshadow palette. Very good eyeshadow palette for work or for glam or going out or anything like that. This is the perfect eyeshadow palette. Next is setting spray. Setting spray is new to me. Want to try it out. Heard a lot of good things about it, so I wanted to try it out. So for setting spray, I am going back with Haley's Beauty. This is the Haley's Beauty Refresh Setting Spray. So I tried this out. It's a little glowy. I believe this, is this hydrating? I don't believe it's hydrating. But it did leave me a little glowy. Not too crazy about the spritzer on here because the spritzer is kind of like spraying everywhere. So I'm not that crazy about the spritzer. And really all I did was just bring out that ashiness of that primer. That's all I did. Um, that's all I did. Next is mascara. Mascara is new to me. Um, it's been out for a little while, so I wanted to try this out as well. Um, this is from Flower Beauty. This is the Flower Beauty Warrior Mascara. Um, if you're not familiar with um, Flower Beauty, Flower Beauty um, is a drugstore brand that is exclusive to CVS, or you can find it online, Ulta online or on their website. So I tried this out. Let me see. This gonna give me.
Okay, this mascara is not really giving me lift. The brush is a little wide, but it's not really giving me lift. And if you're like me, you're one of those people that do not wear false lashes at all. You're looking for a volumizing mascara. It lifted, it lifted this one. I don't know. What do y'all think? It lifted it a little bit, um, but I'm not seeing anything overwhelming. Look at it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like this side, it, it was a struggle, but this one is lifting a little bit. And I'm looking for a mascara that's very volumizing because I do not wear false lashes at all. It's just not giving it for me. It's really not. Last is lip. Lip is new to me. It is new to me. It is an oldie. I know it's an oldie. You ain't got to tell me that it's an oldie. Okay? I know it's an oldie. I know. Um, so for lip, this is from MAC. Um, this is their um, bullet lipstick. I believe this is their satin lipstick. I'm not sure what the shade is because I threw the box away. But this is what it looks like. This is a nice brown lipstick. And can I tell you, I'm in love with this lipstick. If I can find the shade, I'll put the shade in the bottom of the description box. I've heard people talk about their lipsticks are really, really good. And they're not lying. Their lipsticks are real good. I love the lipstick. I still love it. I absolutely love the lipstick. And I am going to top it um, with the um, MAC lip glass. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about their lip glasses. Um, so I um, did pick up their lip glass. I think this is the shade Oh Pleasure or Oh Please or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, so I top it with this. I love this lip glass. I love this. Another lipstick that I did not try out for you guys, but I did recently wear it. It's also new to me. This is another shade of lipstick from Oma Beauty. Um, I did try this out as well. This is what it looks like. And again, this is so creamy. I love it. That's what it looks like. That's the shade. That's what it looks like. And I absolutely love this lipstick. And this also smells really, really good. So the Oma Beauty lipsticks, these are really, really good. I'm definitely putting this in my everyday stack. The lip glass and lipstick from MAC Cosmetics. I'm also definitely putting these in my everyday stack. The lipstick, I'm saying it's satin. I don't think this is a satin. I think this is more of a matte. But it lasts and I love the color. Um, and then topping it with the lip glass. Now I see what y'all be talking about with these lip glasses. I did not know. And I, some YouTubers have said their lip glasses are really good until I started trying the lip glass. Okay, y'all y'all got me. Y'all got me. I, I see. Now I see why y'all like these lip glasses. So they're definitely going into my everyday stack. For Beauty Warrior Mascara. Uh, it, it, it did not want to lift this eye, but for some reason it lifted this eye. So here's what I'm gonna go. Now I'm gonna do with this mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and put this mascara in my maybe stack. I'm gonna give it one more shot. I'm gonna give it one more shot. And if it don't work, it's going in a makeup no no. But for now, I will put the mascara in my maybe stack. The In the Buff palette by Beats by Deb Cosmetics. Favorite 2022. If you don't try this palette out, you are missing out. This is the perfect neutral eyeshadow palette it is good for all skin types it is good for all skin types it is all good for all for everybody work after five it does not matter this is the perfect neutral eyeshadow palette this is a favorite of 2022 the Haley's Beauty Reef Fresh Setting Spray um, I'll go ahead and put this in my everyday stack do I, I see myself buying another one? No. I'm not really crazy about the spritzer. I mean, the spritzer is it's all over the place. 
and it's kind of missing my face. So I will put this in my everyday stack. I don't really see myself using it. Moisturizer from Laura Mercier. This is a very good shade. Um, it lasts a long time. Um, I just think it was just going getting off um, bad because of the primer that I have. So I will go ahead and put the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in my everyday stack. Touch um, con Rewind Concealer from Haley's Beauty. It's a shade too light. It's, I know it's a shade too light. Look at the little casket. Red, little casket shot. But it is a blendable full coverage concealer. And it's very, very, very full coverage. And I really do like this concealer. Just like I like the other concealer from Haley's Beauty. Um, so this Rewind Concealer would go into my everyday stack. The Beauty Blender Cream Blush, again, didn't last all day. Um, it did fade on me, but you also have to dig your brush into the um, um, blush a lot to get some type of color payoff, but I mean, it's pretty. It really is pretty. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and put this blush in my everyday stack. Don't see myself picking up another one of these because it's just... I don't really see myself picking this up and it's not going to last on my face. I can see it working if you're looking for just a little wash of color and then it fade off later. But yeah, this, I'll put it in my everyday stack, but I don't see myself picking up another one. The Kimchi Puff Puff Pads Loose Setting Powder. This is going to be a makeup no-no for me. I am casket ready, casket sharp, casket everything. This is not blending on my face. It does not want to blend. I don't see what y'all see in this kimchi setting powder, but this is just not going to work for me. So this kimchi setting powder is a makeup no-no. The Catrice Grip and Last Putty Primer. This is also a makeup no-no. This is way too thick, doesn't like to blend. And it's probably why some of this is showing at the top of my forehead. Yeah, it is the primer. It is way too thick. It is not going to compare to the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. You're just not gonna get that kind of payoff um, with this primer from Catrice. So with this, this is gonna be a pass. This is a makeup no-no for me. Yeah, with this makeup review, just random makeup. I still have more makeup I am going through. The next makeup review is gonna be mostly milk makeup. So I have a lot of makeup from milk makeup that I will be trying. A lot of things that people have talked about. I'm gonna try it out for you guys. And I'm also gonna be bringing you guys a makeup review for One Size Beauty. I did pick up some things from One Size Beauty. I've already tried out a couple of their things in my YouTuber's favorite makeup video. Um, so now I'm gonna just do a makeup review featuring One Size. And I think I have a couple other things um, that's not one size that I'm going to be trying out for you guys as well. So, with that being said, this is Venetia Alexander Marshall of Every Great Day. Take care. Bye-bye.